شما امروز در شهر کوچکی به نام لیتل همتن هستیم اینجا خانومی معنای تدریس رو به طور کامل تری تعریف کرده به طوری که حتی ممکنه باعث بشه دید شما نسبت به این دنیا عوض بشه My name is Margaret Appa and I live in Angmering in the United Kingdom My passion now is actually teaching drawing مارگرت اپا کلاس نقاشی در منزل خودش به راه انداخته که در این شهر باعث جلب شاگردانی در سنین مختلف شده. Those hidden gems, if you like, that are within you, that I know within you, and I believe that they're there, they're not going to rise to the surface if we don't do, if we don't create the right environment for you. Margaret creates a really relaxed atmosphere. شاعرت های او کارشون را با دقت کردن به یک شی شروع می کنند تا بتونند به تمام جزییات اون شی پی ببرند. There's lots of different techniques and tools like colored pencils and graphite. And putty rubbers. Um, we use different mediums. But the most important is not actually the medium that they're working in. That gives them variety. It gives them the feeling that they're learning a lot of different things. But the most important, the base concept of the course is learning how to see. So we're really taught to do our best without competition or worry. She has a really sensitive approach to everybody. It's very good the way she never judges or bases us against someone else. با وجودی که مارگارت موقعیت رقابت بین شاگردانش ایجاد نمیکنه ولی سعی میکنه که هر کدوم را تا حد اکثر ظرفیت خودشون جلو ببره. One of the nicest things about her is the encouragement she gives you from the beginning not to pitch you against anybody else but yourself. I have very high expectations. But I don't have high expectations of you against an external standard. So I don't have a, an expectation that you're going to pass this exam or, or whatever. My expectation is that each of you individually will surpass what you think at the moment maybe you can't do. When we come in each morning, and we pick up our folder and we saw at the front what we did last week with it. Wow, did we do that? Yes, it's wonderful. Yeah. If somebody comes to me and says, well, no, I can't do it, I'm useless, I'm hopeless, I will still believe in what their capacity is and I would work my hardest in order to get them to acknowledge their capacity and be able to bring that capacity out. مارگارت از یک نقل قول از الواه باهایی الهام به خصوصی میگیره و آن این که انسان را به مسابه معدن که دارای احجار کریمه هست مشاهده نما به تربیت جواهر آن به عرصه شهود آید و عالم انسانی از آن منتفع گردد It's about the qualities that we need in order to be able to go down into the minds of our inmost selves bring out those gems, cut them, polish them and then allow them to shine Everybody draws the same thing, but they all turn out differently. We all have our own style. It's really great the way she really inspires people to draw and bring out things that you didn't know you had. The magic is 
that after a certain amount of time what happens is that everybody's encouraging everybody else because they've got no reason to compete and they've got every reason to say to the person next, next to them, wow, isn't that amazing? Look what progress you've made. Patience, love, generosity, perseverance, determination, all these qualities, everybody has them. Those qualities can come out, can be drawn out, but it needs, it needs an environment of love. نتایج متد درسی مارگارت در تعلیم و بقیه جنبه های زندگی بسیار قابل احساسه. آیا ممکنه در واقع در این دنیا استعدادهای فردی انسان ها باعث تهدید همدیگه نشه بلکه باعث کامل کردن همدیگه بشه؟ با آخرین اعتقادات و افکار مارگارت من شما را از لیتل همتن به خدا می سپارم و از توجه شما به این برنامه تشکر می کنم. It has a very rough exterior. So when we look at human beings, we've got to understand that for some human beings, the exterior is still there, the rough exterior is still there, but the gem is inside. And we can't deny that. That is a truth that the gem is inside. And therefore we have to work hard in order for that, for, the, for everybody's gems to, to come to the surface. Because imagine if everybody was creative, confident, warm, loving, generous, what a wonderful world this would be. With all things, cup of all things, and nothing in the heavens or in the earth, but God suffices. Say God, God suffices.